In December, Hempfield elected two new board members to serve on their board. I'm joined with Judy Brady and Megan Eshelman. I'd first like to thank you both for coming today. So what are your connections to the Hempfield community? Uh, many. I've lived here for 35 years and all of our children came up through elementary and graduated from Hempfield. Um, I taught here for 10 years at the high school and I have grandchildren that will be entering very soon. Um, I haven't been here as long as Judy. I've lived in Hempfield for about 15 years. Um, my kids go to Centerville Elementary. Um, I subbed in the district and I volunteer a lot in the schools and I'm kind of always around in Hempfield. So. Yeah, so I myself am not familiar with the day-to-day -day life of a board member. So what are some of your duties as it comes day by day? Yeah, and we were talking about this, the beginning stages here, the first couple months has been a lot of learning. Yeah. Um, we've gone to a lot of trainings um, through the IU, um, with the solicitor. Um, we've gotten the to meet- The School Board Association, the Pennsylvania School, yeah, School Board Association. PSBA, um, other board members we've gotten to talk to and learn from. Um, the administration has been, you know, welcoming Phenomenal. and we've been able yeah. to learn from them and get to know Hempfield School District in a whole different way as our role as board members. Yeah. It's a lot, of, a lot of reading and preparing and, um, you know, being abreast of whatever is coming up on, on the agenda, but also being aware of, you know, maybe something that might need to be placed on the agenda moving forward and, and being prepared for those conversations. Yeah. Yeah, so Judy, what can we see from your priorities over the next four years? What I've been spending the majority of my time on in this last month has been um, a lot of building visits to all of the elementary schools to observe the um, English language arts pilot programs that are being considered for adoption for next year. It's something the board votes on and um, we just want to be as prepared as we can to have seen it live and in person with the kids interacting with the program. So when it's time to cast a vote, we're prepared for that. Yeah, and Megan? Um, I mean, right now, that's kind of our focus because that's the main thing right now. And I feel like that's a lot ha that the school board has to deal with, too. Kind of like things are going on right now, but also like bigger picture things. Um, so like the feasibility study that has been done in the past, we're digging more into that, um, seeing what the needs of Hempfield Hempfield is long term um, with their facilities and how that impacts education and impacts all other areas of learning. So yeah. that's kind of like a long term thing we're also looking at too. Yeah. I know that you both are on specific committees within the board. I saw that on the website. So can you tell me a little bit more about that? Um, I'm on the Finance and Buildings and Grounds Committee. And I'm really excited about that, particularly the Buildings and Grounds one. We have a lot of potential upcoming projects within the district related to our facilities. And um, that's something I've always enjoyed on a personal level. Um, and I'm really excited to even see how I can um, be a part of that moving forward, researching what's needed, where our biggest needs and concerns are, and coming up with you know, the best plan to meet the needs of the students and the teachers and, and the community for all of the facilities that we have. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm on the other two. I think we kind of tried to split, you yeah. know, like because we're both new. I'm on the education committee and then the policy committee. Um, and the education committee, obviously important uh, for a school district. And like Judy said, um, the upcoming decision about the elementary ELA um, pilot curriculums is coming up. So that's something we've been doing a lot with and learning a lot about. Um, and then for the policy side, um, I think it's an, a, a super important committee yeah. because when you think about it, the policies that are adopted by the school board are then what the administration has to carry out, um, which really I think affects everybody in the hemp field, you know, school district. It's kind of like this big umbrella thing. Um, so I'm glad I'm part of that and learning a lot. Yeah, I know I've sure. learned a lot already, so that's really And I nice. think something too, even though we're technically there are four, four people for each committee, the way our meeting structures, stru our meetings are structured, we're there yeah, at everything. the committee meetings of the other committees, so we're keeping abreast of all of the things that they are, yeah. you know, And it all intertwines. Publicly. I mean, finance, you know, informs educational decisions, yes. you know, every, you know, buildings and grounds informs, you know, they all inform each other. Yeah, so absolutely. that's kind of nice to learn about. Yeah, so once again, I just want to thank you both for joining me today. I look forward to hearing more about your accomplishments over the next four years. Yeah. Great, thank you. It's Thanks. been a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us.